Well, breaking news now. And in the last uh, few moments, the Office for National Statistics has published GDP figures for the fourth quarter of last year. Well, let's uh, speak now to our economics and data editor, Ed Conway. Uh, what can you tell us, Ed? Well, Gillian, these numbers have literally just come out. So, so at the moment, I just have the, the overall figure, which is a 1.1, uh, sorry, 1% growth uh, in the final quarter of last year. Now, that's actually a little bit better than expected. Uh, bear in mind that a lot of people thought because of that second lockdown uh, in much of the country uh, during that period that you might have seen a contraction which would in turn potentially lead uh, to a double dip recession. Well, uh, that hasn't happened. It's 1% growth. Um, and when you look at the total year as a whole, I think that we're talking about around 9.9, .9, so around 10% uh, uh, of a fall in GDP uh, last year. I'm going to have to kind of go back into the spreadsheets and work out when the last time that was uh, as bad. I think that might be uh, a little bit less bad than we saw uh, in the 1920s. Um, I mean, a lot of people at the time were talking about how this was going to be the worst recession since uh, the 18th century, the early period of the 18th century, in terms of the, the total fall over 2020. Well, now we have those preliminary numbers. It may not be quite as bad as that, but as I say, uh, the figures have just dropped, so we're going to have a look at them over the course uh, of the next um, hour or so. Uh, we'll also be talking to the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, about his reaction to those numbers uh, and, indeed, to the state of the economy now. Because, in a way, I think the issue with this is what we're doing right now, and obviously he's in the process of preparing for a budget, what we're doing right now is looking at numbers that are quite historic. They're numbers that cover uh, the final three months of last year. And during that period, obviously, there was this uh, uh, lockdown in much of the country, but it wasn't as severe as the lockdown that we're facing uh, around most of the UK at the moment. Uh, and so the expectation is the quarter we're in at the moment, so the period we're in right now, and I suppose the question is whether he's going to do anything more like that. Is he, are there going to be stimulus measures like Eat Out to help out? Uh, they're, they're going to get, get the economy going again. Uh, perhaps you'd have thought he wouldn't do that uh, again. But as I was saying, this quarter we're in right now, this period we're in at the moment, almost every economist thinks that we're going to see a traction. And some people have talked about double dip recessions and there is this arbitrary, it's pretty arbitrary uh, idea that a recession is only when you have two successive quarters of contraction. Well, because last quarter, the one we're talking about now, because there was growth then, you're not going to have a technical recession. But for most people, when they look at the numbers, what they will conclude is we're in a period right now of potential contraction. That's not good news. Uh, we'll have more from the Chancellor on that later on and more analysis giving you a sense of just how bad last year was really in historical perspective.